So we've had the great pleasure of seeing you in so many awesome action thrillers. Right. What was it about this one in particular that made you say yes? I don't know, it was something about the convention of, you know, it's been sold as an action thriller and there is action in it and hopefully some of it's at least moderately thrilling. But it was something to do with the dynamic between uh, Numi's character Beatrice and the guy who played Victor. Um, something to do with the loneliness inherent in both those characters and how fractured they both are and in their coming together through the telling of the story and kind of relinquishing their desire to follow this path of revenge and violence in, in, in the cause for something else, something more beautiful that, to come into their lives. So that was kind of, you know, when I, when I knew Naomi was doing it, I was just delighted to get the opportunity to work with her. I'd been a big fan of her work. and So it felt, it felt a little bit different. I mean, it's kind of a middle of the road crime thriller, action thriller, but it kind of felt that it had these little conventions in it like the idea that the two of them are living in the same apartment complex but separated by 40 yards of air and they can see into each other's apartments. It was a little, something almost Hitchcocky into that and it just, it, it felt a little bit, a little bit idiosyncratic, a little bit more off center than your usual crime thriller. Right. I don't yes. know if that's the case, but that's what No, it is, that's huh. true, it's right on. Uh, what was it like working with this director and Nomi? It was great, I mean, they had a short hand already born on the experience they had on Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, but, um, both both delightfully intense and very about the work and um, Niels has an amazing eye uh, which was complimented by Paul Cameron who I've worked with before who was the DP on this film who had a very particular idea how he wants the film to look stylistically and and Numi is, is really bright and really oh she's just cool but she's really bright and really talented of course um, and just dogmatic she has very very particular ideas <laughs> and, and it's not like she's unshakable or not that you try and shake her but she's she's open to all suggestions but she's um She's incredibly focused and incredibly raw and, and present, which is just such a lovely thing to get to play next to or opposite. Absolutely. Well, I think audiences are really going to be taken by so much throughout this film. Uh, what in particular do you think might surprise them? Might. Uh, bring wow, I don't know. What surprise? I have no idea, man. <laughs> I, have no, so, I, I have no idea. What could surprise them possibly? Um, Terence Howard's moustache. <laughs> Just how he wears it with such <laughs> how he wears it with such <laughs> dignity and a hint of That's mischief. Hilarious. Is there anything you hope they walk away with? Uh, walk away with the feeling that they didn't waste ten dollars. I mean, if that's, it sounds like it's not setting the bar very high, but if an audience member can walk away <laughs> feeling that they don't want their two hours back. Awesome. That's well, okay. I loved it. Thank you. Congratulations. Did you? Cool. Great job. Thanks, and, man. Uh, we look forward to having on AMC Theatres. Hey, guys. If you like this video, make sure to stop what you're doing and subscribe to our AMC Theatres YouTube channel to keep up to date on all the movie news, editorials, and our AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to hear about all our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.